That's all right. I don't want to disrupt your training. Are you ready for this afternoon? Uh, yeah, miss. We're going to show them posh kids how it's done. <laughs> you go for it, girl. Yeah, Callum and Nat are welcome to freshmen at the spelling bee. We're just going to destroy them on the pitch. Good morning. Wow, we're splashing out chocolate biscuits. Well, well, I can always put them away if you want, you know, get out the custard creams. You do, I'm having two. <laughs> See you later. Alton, can you just put the school ball on the table, please? Yeah. Hey, it's good? It's great, don't change a thing. How's your spelling thing going? Yeah, good. We really put them through the paces last night. They were great. Good. What about you, Gladly? Do they live up to your exacting standards? He wasn't there. Why not? Glorified spelling test. In my day, it was part of the curriculum, not a spectator sport. Don't you believe in making learning fun? No, I do not. I believe in making it hard work. Some of us have more important things to worry about. <laughs> Hello. Morning. I've had a call from Forest Mount, mm -hmm. and they're on the way. Excellent. And the winners' trophies are here. Perfect. Thank you. Arrhythmia. A R R H Y T H M I A. Luscious. L U S C I O U S. Chameleon. C H A M E L E O N. I thought she was mental. How come she's so good? She's got Asperger's. Doesn't affect her intelligence. Yeah, I can see that. Psychology. P S Y C H O L O Exonerate. Oh, here they are. Hey! Hi, hi! Hey! Is it Keith? <laughs> From what I've heard about the Waterloo Estate, I was expecting to be held at gunpoint. No, 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 no. Friday's a um, arm dropper's day off. Same old Rachel, still smiling through adversity. What adversity? Well, I understand you've inherited quite a mess from Jack Rimmer. Well, there's a few wrinkles to be ironed out. I bet there were. You know, if um, you ever get bored from martyring yourself around here, Jeff. I'm just saying. Kingsmere Girls' School, looking for a head. Yeah, but you know I have no interest in working in a private school. Just a thought. <laughs> Boys, fancy making some money? How? I'm taking bets on the spelling bee. Go on. If I told you that our team were rubbish and people were placing bets on them like idiots, would you believe me? Right, you see that girl over there, the biscuit licker? Yeah? She's our star speller. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> what do you think? Can't be in. Fiver. Can you lend us five? So, shall we crack on? Why? Do you want to get the humiliation over with? I told my lot to go easy. Oh, have you? Well, that's very kind of you. Thanks very much. Let's see, shall we? All right, everyone, should we do this? Come on, let's get in the hall. Here she is. For who knew the biscuit liquor was a genius, eh? Money. Final bets are taken. Money. Now. Oh! Oi! Come back here. What's going on? But just because you're among the Waterloo Road pupils, that does not mean you have to behave like them. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Good. Let's move on. Jeff, I'm so sorry about this. As you can tell, we've had a couple of dramas this morning. Well, the uh, pupils did have a front row for one of them. Um, 
Well, I can only apologise for that. If you can give us half an hour, I'm sure we'll be able to get the football match underway. I don't think so. Why not? <laughs> Look, the Forest Mount parents are a bit unhappy about us being here in the first place. I appreciate that a large part of this is prejudice, maybe even snobbery. Yeah, that's what I'd call it. But the stories that these kids are going to be coming home with, it's not exactly going to change their point of view. And what stories will they be, Jeff? Well, for a start, it turns out that my pupils have been involved in gambling. I discovered they were conned into it by one of your girls. Conned? Well, I take it they lost. That's beside the point. But that's not really your problem, is it? Hmm? Your real problem's me. This has obviously been a very difficult day for you. I personally don't think it reflects on you as a head teacher. You know that job that you were talking about this morning? Is it still open because I might need it? No. I didn't think so. Excuse me. 